nice overcast. Lovely. Could be wet or not. Good morning, ASFN. It's a lovely overcast day at Inanda. We had a little bit of drizzle. We might get some drizzle, but I'm relaxed. And even though the motor's on, you can still hear us clearly because I'm running Suzuki four stroke. Um, we are amped for Albert Falls this coming weekend, so we can't fish there because there's been some really large fish. But I think we're going to catch large fish today. Yeah. I just yeah, have this feeling fun. in my waters. I hope so. We, we've uh, struggled a little bit here at Inanda the last lot. three, four times. We've struggled a lot. <laughs> we only got that one, two kilo fish. The yes. rest were one and a half, one yeah. kilo. So yeah, expectations are high today and uh, always nice to have uh, Susie with us on the boat. Brings the feminine touch. Yeah. Nice and soft and quiet. Ah, <laughs> quiet. <laughs> I was just going to say. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> but yeah, I've got a couple of things I want to try today. And I think that's the most amazing part of bass fishing is uh, experimenting with all the baits and colors and techniques 100%. and methods. and. That's what keeps bringing us back, is because you know people often say, "Why well, have you got 12, 13 rods in the in the boat?" Because you need different techniques all the time. Yeah, you have to switch, and, and that's what makes it so nice and mind-boggling. Yeah. Why it can get grown-ups to play with toys. Oh, 100%. Continue. Yeah, 100%. It's brilliant. I love it. So yeah, let's go see. Okay, Thank you for having us. Always a pleasure. We're a hundred meters off the bank, so now we can gun it. And John won't shout at us. <laughs> John! We started off this day with the objective to try as many spots as possible, really hop around in the dam and try and find where the better quality fish are lurking. S Bends being one of Rob's favourite areas is where we started. And after trying a couple of different baits, it is almost always that Rob gets the first fish. And this fish fell for one of Rob's favorite little baits, a Junior Fluke Custom, fished on a mojo rig. Bazinga. That's a good start to the day. Not quite what we're looking for, but I'll take it. And it boxed nicely on this eight pound tetsu line. Boom. <laughs> okay, let's let him go. I re-spooled my reel last night and I put too much on, so I had a bit of a bird's nest and it was just sitting, sitting, sitting. And when I'd undone the bird's nest I felt some pressure and bazinga. So I think we better slow down. The reaction baits we didn't get a bite on. First time I let a plastic sit, boom. So let's see if that holds true for the rest of the day. <laughs> Rob's second fish fell for a six cents swim jig. No, swim jig. Swim jig. Dinky, but I'll take it. Oh, settle down, settle down. You are way too small. Bazinga. Boom. My first 
first fish fall for the chatterbait in the June bug colour, quickly becoming one of my favourites at Inanda. Alright guys, finally a count open. Like Rob's first fish and then he got, you've got four already. Yeah. Three dinks and that, that one that was about this. Yeah, I think mine was bigger. Oh, I doubt it though. <laughs> Mine's darker and blacker, so yeah, it wins. <laughs> Pull it. Another little um, well, it's a keeper, but uh, not that big on a sinker laminate on the edge of those uh, hyacinths. Swim jig a leg again. Nice um, bluegill colour. Nice. Still need a bigger one than this, but uh, better than a kick in the face. Right, we've just had uh, breakfast and uh, we've now set our Lorance Ghost to automatically take us to a spot. So we're getting a chance to uh, sit down and relax for a few minutes. Uh, it's been not a bad day. I mean, we've got six or seven fish so far, which is more than what we've been getting of late, which is hoping to get something a bit bigger. Beautiful day, bit of drizzle but not unpleasant and not too cold, no wind, the water's like glass um, and it's soul food, it's just uh, being on the water just does something for your for your innards, calms you down and uh, this is such a beautiful dam but let's just hope we can get something really big today or at least over two kilos At this stage there was still no pattern and it's as if the fish were scattered here and there a couple getting one or two bites and then going dead where we then moved to the next spot just to experience the same kind of pattern That's my last sinker like that, so I don't want to lose it. Oh, look at this. He's got a damaged eye, guys. Uh, golden, it's like golden finger, James Bond. This is golden eye, best bond. Pretty. Look at that. Oh, wow. Thank you. Definitely. It's over a kilo. Look there. Yo, it's gold, eh?
Dinky. After meeting Gold and I, we moved all the way back towards the dam wall at the beginning of Durban Bay to see if we might find some bigger fish there. Without having any bites, we moved across to a spot I've been wanting to fish for some time. And yet, on the first cast, we got a bite and managed to take a couple of fish off the spot. None of them big though. All my friends are still talking about drugs, saying feels like heaven come and feel like a... There you go. All my friends are... A bit of a dry spell for, for us, to, well not for Rob. Got, he got another dink. <laughs> There's another dink. There we go. Uh, 500 grammar. 400. Fish on, boom. Hello, fishy. Been a while since we've had a fishy on the boat. Well, not really. Been a while since I had a fishy on the boat. Another dinky. Let's hope so we can get some bigger ones. At least these couple of smaller fish kept us busy. Fish on, bam! Fish on, bam! Oh, this one, this one's a dinker armor. Oh. From Durban Bay, we moved across to the ridge, which is almost like an underwater island in the main lake. The wind started picking up, accompanied with a bit of rain and colder weather. And still sticking with the Texas rig, Amber Laminate Senko managed to get a few last fish before we packed up. As small as your dick. <laughs> it's a slightly bigger dick. Oh, 
can you check my scales should lie next to the bag let's test the scale spawned out you can see on the stomach thank you very much that last bit of persistence at least paid off with my biggest fish for the day not a slab but still a really good sized fish considering that it's spawned out already this session was a couple of weeks ago and we're sure to get back to Inanna because one of these days the bigger fish are going to turn on. Over the last week or so we've already seen some bigger fish being caught so I can't wait to make it back and put the Lorenz, the Ghost, the Suzuki and all our tackle ideas and everything we have together to try and find some of those bigger fish. Mr Fisher, much better day today. Post winter? Yes. Spring day, because it's spring day. Yeah, today. this is the first of September. You wouldn't you think it. so, because no. it's pretty nippy. Yeah, I feel almost feminine. <laughs> but uh, in our day, we got 14 or 15 or 16 fish. There Somewhere about. there, yeah. Um, nothing massive, but always good to be out in the water. It was, uh, I think maybe we should have fished a little bit deeper. Yeah, I think now in hindsight, 15 to 20 foot is where we got a better fish. Yeah. Or where there's 15 to 20 foot very close to the side. Yeah. Um, and all the shallows, all the pitching and stuff didn't really play off unless it was deeper water. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of smaller fish already going and this fish I got now already spawned out. Yeah. I'd rather catch small fish than no fish. Yeah, yeah. No, it's probably day. But um, this last one made my day. Yeah. I'm happy with that fish. It's a nice big profile. Um, spawned out could have been an extra five, six hundred gram. For sure. Who knows? Yeah. But yeah, no, it was enjoyable. Senka did it for me today. Yeah, me too. Different types of Senka. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got one on a chatterbait. Are you ready for Albert Falls? Yeah. Is it ready for Albert Falls? It's <laughs> if Albert's is ready for me. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> hasn't hasn't been too kind to us of late. Yeah, well, we've but been, we've been holding back because Saturday is more important. Yeah, we're fishing a bit of a tournament on Saturday, which is nice. I think maximum 40 boats, three fish per person. That's your oh, per boat per team. That's your bag because it could be in spawn now, not could be, probably will be. So just uh, to look after the fish, they've changed it from five to three. And we're going to have to use our lunch box as a love well. Yeah, our love well is where we put our lunch. Yeah, but we can't take the cameraman. So uh, that's can you true. imagine the oh, space we can have on so the much boat? Space. Oh, hey? wow. yeah. <laughs> I don't know, what are we going to do with all that space? Oh, we must no. put that in the live well. <laughs> Weigh it. <laughs> but thank you very much for a great day. Nice Always. and chilly. Always nice to be up in the water. But this is nice weather. It's fine mist. Um, yeah. Fine rain. Every now and again, you can feel that. Yeah, it wasn't unpleasant. Wind. It wasn't unpleasant at all. It was nice. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell notification oh, yes. if you want to be <laughs> notified of all our new uploads. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. Your likes really help, and your comments are welcome. If there's stuff we can add, and you've got some constructive uh, suggestions that we can add to the show. It's always welcome. Thank you for watching. I've got one. Yes. Catch bigger fish. Yeah, oh, then I'm going to drink Thank you guys. See, See you me. next time. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching ASFN. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video as this helps us. And also hit that bell notification button to be notified every time we upload a new video.